All right, in this video, I'm going to be explaining another important article for domain adaptation. And the task of today is just semantic segmentation. Still in unsupervised setting. And we are using self supervision. So this article in 2020. Unsupervised intra domain adaptation for semantic segmentation through self-supervision. Convolutional neural network-based approach have achieved remarkable progress in semantic segmentation. However, these approaches heavily rely on annotated data, which are labor-intensive. To cope with this limitation, automatically annotated data generated from graphic engines are used to train segmentation models. However, the models trained from synthetic data are difficult to transfer to real images. To tackle this issue, previous works have considered con uh, directly adapting models from the source data to the unlabeled target data to reduce the interdomain gap. Nonetheless, these techniques do not consider the large distribution gap among the target data itself. So we propose a two-step self-supervised domain adaptation approach to minimize the inter-domain and intra-domain gap together. We conduct the inter-domain adaptation of the model. From this adaptation, we separate the target domain into an easy and hard split using an entropy-based ranking function. Finally, to decrease the intra-domain gap, we propose to employ a self-supervised adaptation technique from the easy to hard split. So they split the target into hard and easy images, and then they do adaptation. So first they do intra-domain adaptation, then they use entropy-based ranking, and finally intra-domain. First inter-domain, then finally intra-domain adaptation. Because intra-domain, because they have a hard split, an easy split, and they have this loss for intra uh, and uh, as well as inter. So S is uh, just source domain consisting of a set of images and their associated ground truth class segmentation maps. And again, similarly tau denote the target domain, you have unlabeled images. So the first step is to uh, in is the interdomain adaptation which is based on common unsupervised domain adaptation approaches. Then the pseudo labels and predicted entropy maps of target data are generated such that the target data can be clustered into an easy and hard split. And the entropy-based ranking system is used to, con to cluster the target data into easy and hard split. The second step is intra-domain adaptation, which consists in aligning the split, the easy split with pseudo-labels to the hard split. So a sample is from source domain with its associated map y sub s. Each entry of y sub s provides a label of a pixel as a one-hot vector. This network g sub inter takes, it takes x sub s as input and generates a soft segmentation map. Each c's a dimensional vector at a pixel serves as a discrete distribution over C classes. So we just minimize this entro cross entropy loss. But to close the inter domain gap between source and target, uh, this reference 
proposes to utilize entropy maps in order to align the distribution shift of the features. The assumption is that the train models tend to produce overconfident. It means no low entropy prediction for source-like images and underconfident, it means high entropy predictions for target images. Due to its simplicity and effectiveness, is adopted, uh, it is adopted in our work to conduct inter-domain adaptation. And the generator takes a target image as an input and produces a segmentation. The entropy map, so this is the entropy map, I sub t. And then here to align the inter-domain, uh, we use the adversarial approach because the sub inter is trained to predict the domain labels from entropy maps while g of inter is trained to fool the discriminator so this is the discriminator and this is the generator and this is the uh, gans approach the generator takes a target image as input to generate p sub t and the entropy map. So we adopt a simple yet effective way for ranking, which is the mean value of entropy map. Given a ranking of scores from R, uh, so this hyperparameter lambda is introduced to as a ratio to separate the target images into easy and hard split. Since no annotation is available for the easy split, directly aligning the gap between easy and hard split is infeasible. But we propose to utilize the predictions from G inter as pseudo labels. Given an image from the easy split, we forward it to G inter and obtain prediction map. While P sub T E is a soft segmentation, we convert it to P sub t where each entry is a one hot vector with the aid of pseudo labels it is optimized by minimizing the cross entropy loss to bridge the intra-domain gap between easy and hard split we adopt the alignment on the entropy map for both splits an image from hard split is taken as input to the generator to generate the segmentation map and the entropy map. The, to close the intradomain gap, the intradomain discriminator is trained to predict the split labels, and it is from the easy split, and it is ITH stands for hard. This is for stands for easy. Uh, so G is trained to fool the discriminator. Finally, the total loss. We have the inter and intra losses. So since our proposed model is a two steps of supervised approach, it is difficult to minimize it in, in one training stage. Thus we choose to minimize it in three stages. First, we train intra-domain adaptation for model to optimize G inter and D inter. Second, we generate the target pseudo label by utilizing G inter and rank all images based on S. Finally, we train the intra domain adaptation to optimize G intra and D intra. So, when you go from one source to target or another source to another target, you see that. Uh, you have different performance for different methods. For example, method of this paper, you can you can use it for uh, different sources. So this is that the examples of entropy maps.
from hard split and A is just hard images. But D, D here, as you see, are improved predicted segmentation result of hard images. So hard images is here, but this is the improved segmentation. So we present a self-supervised domain adaptation to minimize the interdomain and intradomain gap simultaneously. We first train the model using the interdomain inter adaptation from existing approaches. Secondly, we produce target image entropy maps and use an entropy-based ranking functions to split the target domain. Lastly, we conduct the intradomain adaptation to further narrow the domain gap. We conduct extensive experiments on synthetic to real images in traffic scenarios. Our model can be combined with existing domain adaptation approaches.